Good morning, guys. No fancy intro, no B-roll stuff. <laughs> We're just gonna go fishing today. Swing and a miss. to get the right bait. It's not a bad one, but... First fish of the day on the white chatterbait. We shall take it. Well, I couldn't have let them have it any longer. Grab the legs. I just don't know if these fish are super committed to coming up on top yet. Oh, little fella. Little fella. Man. Guys, guys, that was a very weak hook set. Pretty good one. Man, that was a gingerly hook set. Nice. All right. Well, that might tell us something right now. First cast with the Rage Menace, and we stick a nice one. Hmm. That may mean something. Yeah, not a bad one. I'll take it. And the dance, thank you. How's that? Was that a salmon? Jesus. Hey, a little fella. Got a hold of that one. Jeez. Just ripped his lips off. Definition of junk fishing today. Just throwing at what looks good with whatever bait looks good. Oh, Little fella just popped it. Fish are just missing the frog. Oh my god, you see what I'm saying? I think they're just little ones, but still, how are they not getting hooked up? So a lot of you guys ask why I usually keep the drive down. This is why right here. Because when I have it up, I just get water dumping into the boat. Keep the scuppers out though, and I guess it'll drain, so. frog for forever started a punch and uh, I got one little guy it's a bite on the punch rage menace that's definitely a sign should have figured that out a lot earlier but what are you gonna do Oh, 
I think it's a giant. Are you kidding me? I thought it was way bigger than that. Punching. Man, it felt a lot bigger. I'm glad he stayed on though, because if I had lost that fish, I would have said I lost like a seven pounder. Healthy fish though. Punching it is for sure. I think we can give up on the frog officially. It's 11 11. I've only I wanted to get off the water by 12 because it's already about 94 degrees. It's going to be 100 by 12 12 30. But we finally figured out the bite. It's not a great bite, but we finally figured a way to get a bite. <laughs> Punching. Punching is the deal. Punching is the jam today. Thought I was just gonna come back here and wreck him on a frog, but I just don't want to come up today for that frog. They want me to go to them. Not a giant, but a fun bite. now turn your rage menace into a ned rig Hope that fish gives us a second chance can't imagine it's too big though if it only bit the tails off oh, smoked it on the way down Missing fish. Sad. Oh my god! I my freaking hand missed the reel. That was a good one too, of course. couldn't set the hook on him. I just, I missed. I missed my freaking rod. Dang it. All right, guys, so a little bit of a frustrating day, just uh, missing a lot of fish. It's the hardest thing in fishing, to try not to go in with preconceived notions, especially with an area you've done well before in doing a certain technique. So in this particular area, with this cover, I thought I was just gonna go in there and absolutely wreck them on a frog. Didn't happen, I was getting little bites here and there. Ended up kind of finding out earlier or later on in the day that uh, it was the punch rig. It was a punch rig, I needed to go down to get some of those fish. They just weren't committing to the frog. I think half the bites I had on the frog, they were just straight up missing the frog. Should have probably figured this out a lot earlier in the day, but uh, we did find out later in the day, but it was definitely the punch rig. Let me just talk about my setup real quick because out of a kayak, I think punching is probably one of the hardest, if not the hardest technique to efficiently do out of a kayak. The setup is definitely key, no matter what kind of vessel you're in, but especially from a kayak. So as far as my setup goes, this is a Dobbins Champion Extreme HP 7.4. This is a mag heavy fast action rod. So this rod has a lot of power to it. When you're punching, you are throwing this bait into the thickest of cover and you're not playing these fish you're setting the hook hard and you're getting them out as fast as you can i'd say the most important part of this setup is a lightweight rod you want to invest in a high dollar punching rod because it's a technique that you can do all day and it'll wear you out quick. So this is a super lightweight rod, but it still has that power. 50 pound braid minimum. I probably should go up to 65 to be honest, since I'm on the Delta and there's some big ones in there that can hurt my feelings, but 50 pound braid minimum 
We've got a one ounce Strike King tungsten weight. Only tungsten I use is by Strike King. Two bobber stops to keep that weight pegged. We've got a three out Trocar flipping hook. And then for me, it's a Strike King Rage Menace, but you can put your, your favorite plastic on that hook. Keep it weedless, just make sure it's thin. High speed reel, 851, Corrado K. You need to get those fish in as fast as you can, so high speed reel is crucial. The only other thing I will say is about this pattern, the end of the day, it, you know, punching it can be pretty tedious. I mean, you can have a whole bank of grass and it could take you forever to punch every single patch. And the big key for punching is finding little nuances, little differences in the bites you're getting. It may be a change in the grass. It might be a mixture of grass. It might be on the points. It might be in a certain depth. But for me today, I noticed that all of my fish, and this was kind of obvious, all of my punch fish were in the green patches of grass. You notice that I would just pass all that dead grass and just fish those patches of greener grass. And uh, you know, it makes sense. It's been really hot and uh, the greener patches are gonna have more oxygen. So those little differences, you know, after you get a bite or two, try to make observations about what you're catching those fish in and that can make you more efficient and uh, allow you to, you know, pick apart the cover a lot better. Take it from me, lesson learned, you know, when you're going back to a certain area that you think you know how you're gonna catch them, don't automatically assume it's gonna work. And if it doesn't work, you know, start trying different baits. You know the fish are there, they're not biting, try a different technique. But that's the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you later.